Each time you open 3D Coat, you will be presented with a splash screen like you see here with a range of options for accessing different feature sets within the application. And one recent addition is the AI Assistant. This is not an AI generative engine to help create 3D content. This is actually an assistant to help answer questions. It's like speaking to someone on the forum, whether it's an experienced user or staff member, you can ask the same type of questions you would ask them if you wanted to know more about certain features. This even includes licensing questions and so on. So let me click on that and let's see what happens. It brings us to pillway.com forward slash chat and it gives us the ability to present a question. Something like, what is the difference between per pixel painting and micro vertex painting? And we get an answer that is fairly in-depth and accurate. Now let's look at another option for accessing this AI assistant. You can always go to the main website here at pillway.com. And in the lower right corner, you'll see this icon here of these different text bubbles. And you can click on that and ask your question here as well. So let me ask another question. Okay, so the answer is the choice between the default auto retopo engine and instant meshes depends on your specific needs and the complexity of your model. The default auto retopo engine in 3D Coat is designed to handle a wide range of models and can provide good results with minimal manual intervention. Instant meshes, on the other hand, is a third party tool integrated into 3D Coat that can be faster and more efficient for certain types of models especially if you need a quick retopology solution. It's often a matter of personal preference and the specific requirements of your project. So that's going to conclude this look at using the AI Assistant in 3D Coat. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.